Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 12. And it came to pass, when Rechavam had established the kingdom and had strengthened himself, he forsook at the Torah of Yahweh and all Yashara'el with him. And it came to pass that in the fifth year of King Rechavam, Shishach, king of Mitzrayim, came up against Yerushalayim because they had transgressed against Yahuwah with 1,200 chariots and threescore thousand horsemen. And the people were without number that came with him out of Mitzrayim. The Luvim, the Kukim, and those of Cush. And he took at the fenced cities which pertained to Yahuda, and came to Yerushalayim. Then came Shemeyahu, the prophet, to Rechavam, and to the princes of Yahuda, that were gathered together to Yerushalayim, because of Shishak, and said unto them, Thus says Yahweh, Ye have forsaken me, and therefore have I also left you in the hand of Shishak. Whereupon the princes of Yashadael and the king humbled themselves, and they said, Yahuwah is righteous. And when Yahuwah saw that they humbled themselves, the word of Yahuwah came to Shemeyahu, saying, They have humbled themselves, therefore I will not destroy them, but I will grant them some deliverance, and my wrath shall not be poured out upon Yerushalayim by the hand of Shishak. Nevertheless, they shall be his servants, that they may know my service and the service of the kingdoms of the countries. So Shishak, king of Mitzrayim, came up against Yerushalayim and took away at the treasures of the house of Yahweh, and at the treasures of the king's house, eth he took all. He carried away also eth the shields of gold which Shalomah had made, instead of which King Rechavam made shields of brass, and committed them to the hands of the chief of the guard that kept the entrance of the king's house. And when the king entered into the house of Yahweh, the guard came and fetched them and brought them again into the guard chamber. And when he humbled himself, the wrath of Yahuwah turned from him, that he would not destroy him altogether. And also in Yahuda things went well. So King Rechavam strengthened himself in Yerushalayim and reigned. For Rechavam was one and forty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned seventeen years in Yerushalayim, the city which Yahuwah had chosen out of all the tribes of Yashadael to put at his name there, and his mother's name was Naama, and Ammonith. And he did evil, because he prepared not his heart to seek at Yahuwah, now the acts of Rechavam, first and last, are they not written in the Sefer of Shemeyahu, the prophet, and of Ido, the seer, concerning genealogies? And there were wars between Rechavam and Yaravam continually. And Rechavam slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. And Aviyahu, his son, reigned in his stead.